So two reaction engineering experiments should be performed in this laboratory course. The first one is the study of different type of reactors in which you would be primarily studying the continuous stirred tank reactor or CSTR and the second one would be PFR which is plug flow reactor. And next experiment would deal with determination of the residence time distribution of reactants in the reactors. Now coming to flow reactors. See one of the many tasks of a chemical engineer is to size and determine the type of reactors that one needs for a particular chemical process. And we can think of many different chemical processes like in petrochemical industries or bio-fermentation uh, of ethanol and so such. So in this experiment we will consider two different reactors which are in a sense extreme cases. The first CSTR where we assume that all the reactants are homogeneously mixed and there is no uh, concentration variation across the reactor and in time. And the second is the plug flow reactor where basically two reactants flow and they do not mix each other. So the concentration variation is along the tube. So these two experiments here in these two experiments we would determine the concentration of reactants with time or the variation of reactant concentration with time. So these you can see that these two are very ideal conditions and extreme end of uh, assumptions.